You are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the inbox review of the MPM Fokker D21 in 172nd scale. So, I already did a review of a Fokker D21 before, but that was the PM model one. So, this one. This is the PM one. And this is the MPM one from Czech Republic. And this is a much better kit than this. This is about the best D21 that you can get in this scale, in 172nd scale. Um, yeah, so the Dutch Defender. Yay, ole, Holland. It's, uh, I believe it's also. It was also released as uh, Dutch Patrol, but it's basically the same kit. The Fokker D21. Yeah, haha, ha. Fokker D21. Eh, he said Fokker. Well, the F word is actually derived from this word. Fokken means, in Dutch, to breed. So if someone says, Ik fok paarden. It means that the man is a horse breeder. This has nothing to do with bestiality. Okay? Okay. We all had our laughs. Okay. The Fokker D21. Now let's have a look inside the box. This sounds so wrong in so many ways. Now there aren't very many parts in this kit. But a lot more than in the PM kit. And it's a lot more, it contains a lot more detail. It's uh, better shape wise. And let's go through the sprues. Well, first, we have here the smallest sprue, the transparency. Very nice, very clear. Way better than the PM1. I keep comparing it to the PM1 because. In the PM video I said, like, okay, you have to dish out the money if you want to get a proper one. I was very lucky to get this one, which was actually cheaper than the PM model. But usually it should be double the price. But I got lucky. Nice transparencies. And the rest, yeah, well, the detail is much, much better. Some engraved panel lining, very subtle because it's got wooden wings. And the ailerons look much better as well. And here, the, the wheels, much nicer. Also the typical shape of the forward fuselage. Mm, nice engine. And there's actually some detail on the inside, as well as there being a detailed cockpit floor, an instrument panel. Actually, also the instrument panel has the angles, which the real uh, the real plane also has. And all in all, the the the, the ribbing here. All in all, this is. The best you can get at this moment. It's not 100% perfect, but it comes close. And also, what I um, what I did with another review on the Codron 714 is that you can actually also use this one as a pattern for the PM kit. Because also with this kit, some parts aren't too far off shape-wise. It's like, meh, you could correct this a bit. Like uh, the ailerons, you could scribe them yourself. The engine, well, it's the correct diameter, the, the PM one, 
So you can work with it by using this one, the MPM kit, as a pattern. Like just copy the detail, see where the, the issues, where the shape issues are, which detail you can add, and just copy it to the old PM kit. And back to the model itself, yeah, very nice detail. A very good kit, of course, yay, it's Dutch, so I'm a happy camper here. And they also made another kit, of which I will do a review soon, I hope, of the Fokker uh -huh, G1. And that's a very rare beast indeed. The, the availability, this being a short run kit, is limited. So at a certain point there will be fewer and fewer of these kits around and they'll become more expensive and more expensive. So, And here we have the decals. Very nice. Can make several options. The 237 seems to be very popular. Of course the building instructions with the sprue map. Very straightforward. I haven't built it yet so I don't know how the fit is. I hope it won't be too bad. And here's some color schemes, the pre-war ones with the pre-war roundels and the orange triangles from the mobilization period and the Second World War in 1940. So there you have it. The 172nd scale Fokker D21 by NPM. Thank you for watching and until the next video.